Hey family. All right, I'm gonna talk about something that I had posted um, yesterday, I think, on my personal page. I talked about doing 75 hard. 75 hard is a mental and physical strength program, really, for lack of a better word. Um, you can Google it, you have all, all, the, all the details in there, but the gist is, clean eating, whatever food plan you decide to do, um, no booze, two workouts a day, two 45 minute workouts a day, one is 45, or one needs to be outside, one gallon of water, 10 pages of a personal development book every single day for 75 days. If you fail, you start over. Um, so people are like, what are you doing? I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. But this is what I know to be true. When we do something bigger, when we commit to something bigger, when we um, are disciplined in a bigger way, our subconscious changes. When your subconscious changes, then your habits can change. 95% of your brain is just doing what it's always been told. So if all of a sudden, you want a different result than what you've been getting. You have to do something different than you've always done. This is why when I, when I talk about New Year's resolutions, they don't freaking work. New Year's resolutions don't work because what are we saying? Um, I need to exercise every day and I need to do all these things. Your subconscious though only knows what it's only known. So in order to hijack it, in order to um, get a different result, in order to create success in a different way, you have to do something different. You have to pattern interrupt. You have to disrupt your brain. So that's what I did. I said, well, I guess, you know, tif tif typically when I put my mind to something that that's what I do. When that brain is hijacked, it forces you into a different habit. Now you can continue to create your result right now on a different subconscious habit. So when we look at failure, most people fail because they quit before they got to the failure part. The failure is where your brain actually changes. Because what do we do? We go back to the drawing board and we're like, hmm, what worked and what didn't work? What can I do? How can I take this from here to here now? When we quit, we don't even give our brain a freaking chance to change. And working with bodies for the last 15 years, hundreds of bodies, a week for the last 15 years. That is also in a habit. So in order to change your health, eating two more servings of vegetables a day is probably not going to make a change very fast that you will not quit on. But when your why is big enough, it will happen. So I think of 75 hard. Like I said, if you haven't seen it, Google it. <laughs> it is 75 days of no booze, clean eating, two 45 minute workouts a day, one outside, whether it's hot, cold, snowy, rainy. Your why has to be big enough. When our why is big enough, we can do anything, anything. Because it, there is no limitation. There is no border. Think of the difference between a slough and a river. A slough has no borders. A river has borders. You have lanes that you need to stay in. Sometimes we need to open it up and be a slough. So it's like, hmm, I'm not sure what's going to happen. But this is what I'm going to commit to. I'm going to commit to doing something totally different than I've never done before. And when you start to commit to something different than you, that you've never done before, your brain starts to change because it doesn't know this subconscious 95% of our brain is subconscious. The old stuff knew that. So when you say, okay, I'm going to start exercising three times a day, 20 minutes each. It's been told that song and dance for so many years. It's like, Oh God, here she goes again. This ain't going to work until you change your habits. And sometimes, you know, I am the, um, Sometimes I don't learn the lessons until the Mack truck just bloop. And I know those moments now. I know those turning points. I know those T's in the road. When the T's in the road, I know 
that a breakthrough is freaking happening, man. When I hit that po point and I know that like, okay, I keep pushing, this, this push isn't going to be, it's not going to go the direction I want to. I need to pull back. I need to ease. I need to retreat a bit, feel the direction I'm supposed to go. And when that happens, that's when results start happening. Whether it's your health, whether it's your marriage, your finances, your social life, your financial life, those things are requiring you to do something different in order to get a different result. And it's not the same old song and dance. It has to be something different to change the wiring in your brain, to change that subconscious patterning, to change how you feel about yourself. Maybe your whole goal is to have more joy and not work 70 hours a week. Maybe your whole joy your whole goal is to feel good in your body, to have self-esteem, to have confidence, to feel like you're someone and you can give your gifts to the world. Whatever it is, you got to do something different than you've always done. That is what will disrupt the subconscious patterning and change your results. I just recorded a podcast. I don't know when that comes out, I suppose in a few weeks about the threat of being mediocre. <clears throat> mediocre. What a crappy word. Eh, just like, eh. Moderation. Average. Why would you want to be like that? You are given everything you need within you. Why would you choose to be mediocre just because you're scared of taking that step? Just because you're afraid of someone not liking you. Just because you don't want to be that visible just in case you're not accepted. But the opposite is living with yourself and your ungiven gifts. I think that's the worst feeling ever. I've had moments. It's when I start to feel bored. I'm like, hmm, how can I help more people? How can I do it beyond just one-on-one? -on -one? How can I do what I'm doing in less time so that I have time with my family? How can I do all that so I have freedom in my life to do what I want, what brings me joy, and what creates the most impact in the world? That is how we make change, is knowing what our why is. So many people talk about, know your why, know your why. Well, I, I mean, that's a pretty, pretty vague way of saying Figure out what you want and then do something different than you've always done. Because if the result in your life isn't what you want it to be, then you know that your habits need to change. That starts with your mindset. So show up. Lean in. Know that you're meant to be more. And you're led to a direction and in that alignment of achievement and feeling connected and aligned to where you're going that's where you start to make a ripple so if you want more of this i'll be i'll be talking about achievement on tuesday but i was just starting to think about my post <laughs> and what 75 hard is and what my why was as I've gotten texts and messages about like how did you do this what did you do to prep um, are you serious 75 days with no booze in the summer <laughs> yeah yeah because I need to disrupt my pattern I need to know um, I need to change some things so that I can be more connected that I can be more clear and that I can create more for the people who want it. In that time, by the way, it's been six weeks, four weeks of strict 75 hard, six weeks of clean eating and no booze. Um, I've created four programs. I've added two and a half hours of time with myself <laughs> working out and, um, and I've, it fit. So beyond all the things that I do, I didn't sacrifice anything. I didn't, I, I just added to life. What I took out was bogus stuff that I didn't even allocate for in my time. 
So that's where the sacrifice comes from. The sacrifice actually comes from doing stupid stuff that doesn't light you up. Because that's what depletes you then. So how can you pour back into yourself? How can you pour back into your family? How can you pour back into your um, business, your clients, your patients? And how can you do that without adding more time to your day? Disrupt it. Pattern interrupted. It will be worth it. Bye, guys.